Bill, congrats on the win. Another thank big you. one for you, of course. Thank you, thank you. Um, you talked the other day about figuring that he was going to be a tough guy to put away yep. and a, a tough yep. guy to finish. Was that how um, things kind of played out in there? Was it at pretty much what you expected? Absolutely. You know, um, every now and then you, you get one or two guys. Uh, some people, uh, they get finished with a Kimura or armbar, let's say, whatever, rear naked. And it makes them so angry that they almost will themselves to not fix it. And then you get other people that get finished in, in an armbar, Kimura, rear naked, whatever. And they refuse to get finished that way again. So I was actually hoping for the for the former, and he, he turned out to be the latter. <laughs> um, th that takedown in the in the third, he fought it off for a few beats there, yeah. and then and then it was just kind of like vintage Phil, just scoop him up and carry him for a few steps. And uh, was that sort of the? I mean, there's no turning point in a fight that, mm -hmm. that you win in a sweep on the scorecards, but but was that the point you knew? All right, this this is good. Like he seems like he's kind of out of out of gas there. Right. Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not. When I, when I try to explain the sport to people who haven't fought, it's not enough to just punch a guy and, and make him hurt. You have to absolutely take away his, his, his ability to win mentally, his, his hope of winning the fight. And uh, he probably felt he was down two rounds and getting a, a, a takedown midway through the third, might have, that probably would have put the nail in the coffin. And he can kind of, you know, he's feeling that, and he was fighting like hell not to get taken down there. So yeah, that was uh, that was a big one. As you're carrying him ac across there, are you thinking in your mind at that early? All right, I'm going to get him down. I'm going to be able to work for that arm, or is um, that something that you don't think about until 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 it's campus? presented? I, yeah. 100 percent. I just take what's there, and um, he the arm was there. He presented the arm there. Um, but again, his defense was uh, much better, much better this time around. Do you um, do you look at the stats? Do you look at your resume? I mean, I think they mentioned on the broadcast you hadn't had a submission in coming up on seven years or something like that. Is, how bad? I haven't had a submission in seven years? I think it, I think they said 2015. Does that sound right? I thought I subbed Liam McGarry. How how long ago was that one? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look back at it. But regardless, oh, okay, 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 okay. You would know better than me. Put it like that. You would know better than me. Well, that was, dead serious, but that, that was them on the broadcast that, that where <laughs> I heard it. I didn't even look it up. So bad on me for that. If, if okay. it was sooner than that. But is that something that you look at? So when you're fishing for that arm, are you going? God, I really want this. I really want this. I really want to submit him. <laughs> no, no, <It's> not. <laughs> no. I literally have not thought about that. Uh, <laughs> it's been seven years, and I just need a slump buster. <laughs> um, nah, <laughs> and I just, I just do whatever's there. I just do what I do. And you know, it, there's times when I take a guy down and what feels most natural is to punch him, not even look for a submission. Mm -hmm. And he seemed like one of those guys that has a, a powerful, just like a burst, like a, a really strong bump. So being a little bit loose and trying to punch him is going to give him a stand up. So just, you just kind of go by the general feel. What's the next step for you at this point? I mean, do you do you sit back and wait to see how that title fight plays out and then see where you fit in the picture? Uh, I mean, what's next for me is uh, ice bath, two ibuprofens, and then, you know, we'll go from there. Then one sort of interesting one, I think in the – going back to that last seven years thing, seven or so years, you, you've got four losses. They're two to each of the two champs at light heavyweight and heavyweight, and three of those are split decisions that's that's insane right that's an insane <laughs> thing to think about what's more important to you at this point getting the title back or avenging those two losses or would it be great to if you could do both at the same time um well gotta go up to heavyweight to fight Bader and to tell you the truth uh he looks fairly unstoppable at heavyweight <laughs> I hate to say it I hate to say it but I'm gonna call a spade a spade um, so if he brings his butt back down, got my chance. Um, yeah, you know, honestly, it's just about beating whoever's in front of me. I love fighting. I love preparing. I love training. Uh, I'm going to beat whoever's in the cage with me. Phil, in the pre-fight press conference, you said that you thrive in enemy territory. Yeah. But I think you had a couple friendly faces in the crowd tonight. Uh, was, was that your mother and your brother? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my mom, my, my mother and my brother are here. 
and I also, uh, my mom's whole side of the family, she, uh, she's from Chicago. So okay. I also had some family make, make the trip over and I have some other family uh, down in Topeka. So they, they made the long haul up from Topeka. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I, got, I got a little bit of family everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you got a chance to uh, fight in front of your mom or compete in front of her? In, in front of my, my mother? Yeah. Uh, that was uh, September 19th. Okay. San Jose. Nice. Um, did he surprise you in any way with anything that he did? Um, he, he's oddly, I don't know how powerful he looks and just, uh, you know, he, he's very mechanically powerful. A lot of guys, just to give you a, you know, a polar opposite, like, uh, Yoel Romero, he winds up and he swings hard and you see that power. But with a guy like, uh, Julius, he's very straight and direct and he has really good, you know, like mechanical power. So I, I don't know if, like, a lot of times you might even see somebody get, like, knocked out with a jab or something. It's by a guy like that. Yeah. Did you surprise yourself in any way in this fight? Um, you know, every now and then, um, there's some takedowns that I just, I just go for. I just, no, yeah, just wait. Let's just see what happens. Uh, <laughs> you know, a couple of those body lock positions. Um. I just love doing grabbing somebody upper body and and uh, letting it rip. So uh, that was a, that was actually a good fun for me. All right. Even uh, the one that didn't work out, it was still uh, fun to see what position we end up in. Cool. Uh, last question: Did you see Batman? And if so, what are your spoiler-free thoughts? Say it one more time. Did you go see Batman? Man, I, I try to do everything to go see Batman. You know what? If we're gonna do it, I'm gonna blame it on Blurt Watson. Okay. Bert Watson, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Bert said, Bert said you need to be back by seven o'clock for your for a weight check. And I, you know, obviously, I respect all Bert's rules. He's a man. He's been running fight fight game for just about as long as I've been alive. So I got, I can't go. And Batman's three hours long, man. I gotta go to like a you know a one o'clock show just to make it back in time for for my curfew. You know, otherwise. My work dad's gonna come down on me. All right, we'll take a couple more. Kobe. Hey Phil, another clinical performance. Awesome fight. And I think Bert's been doing it for longer than you've been alive. Just so you know. <laughs> right. But do you yeah, feel like happen. do you feel like you're still learning or no? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's all in uh the subtle things now. How to um you know, how to punch and not be punched. Uh, I feel like I progressively get better at that. Um, how to work in more strikes into my takedowns and my submissions. Um, I'm discovering like, you know, different, playing around with some like rubber, rubber guard, different things I didn't think were my game. I feel like I, I say that every, at least every month. I'm like, you know, I didn't think I'd ever be able to do a move like this. You know, I didn't think I'd ever be able to do a, you know, go, go Plata or whatever. So and, your, your, and your last two fights, you were very patient in the cage. Is that more about, about the opponents or about the way you've progressed? Um, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. I like to, um, now it's about wasting less energy um, and, and being more explosive. I, I wish I had like one of those uh, like super explosive burst I, I tend to be um like a longer longer high intensity burn but uh i've been working on just kind of being more more steady and then uh condensing my motion into more powerful movements all right last one here jay thanks very much and uh phil congrats on the win good to see you back and uh you know Thank we you. talked a little about that that bader heavyweight idea before the fight and now you've mentioned it tonight how seriously interested would you be in that opportunity anything's possible like i said anything's possible if god made him man walks on two feet i'll fight him but mr mr bader is very uh he looks he looks tremendous at heavyweight i'm very proud of his last fight <laughs> he looked he looked like a like a savage do you think for going the weight cut would have a, an advantage for yourself as well or are you better suited for 205 maybe 
Uh, I think I'm better suited for 205. I, I've been this size since I was 17 years old. So this is this is my frame. I've I've added a little bit more meat to my upper body, but um, this is this is pretty much my frame. But I mean, I'm I'm down to I'm down to clown. Uh, I'll dance around wherever. Put it. Right. Put a right opponent. Good stuff. Good stuff. Congratulations again. All right. Thank you very much, Phil. Appreciate the time.